Yo chat, what's good? My name is Jmo, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool digital wiper transition effect in After Effects. There's tutorials that are similar to this all over YouTube, and I'm going to show you how you can do this on a person instead of just like a logo or a standstill object so that you guys can use this for music videos or other video projects that you're working on. So let's just hop into After Effects and get started here. So I have this clip here of Tana, and I have my roto layer already roto brushed out here, and then I have the background layer. And these are two separate layers and i'm not going to go into how to roto because i'm sure by now you probably know how but if you don't just go watch a tutorial real quick on how to so first off i'm just going to go ahead and pre-compose this layer of my roto layer so i'll do that with Control shift c and then click these two right here move all attributes into the new composition and click this box here and then click ok and then just double click on that comp layer to go in there and then you have your original layer right here and now we're going to go ahead and create a shape layer so so it's a bit annoying. I, I prefer to use a solid layer with this, but you have to use a shape layer for this and make sure that you're not selected on your layer right here and then come up here and click the rectangle tool. And this is going to bring up your fill and stroke here. So for fill, you're going to set this to a white color. You got to make sure that it's white and then click on the stroke options button here and then just make sure to turn off stroke and click OK and then you're just going to double click this rectangle tool and it's going to set the shape layer to the size of your composition right here and now we're going to go ahead and keyframe in the position so go ahead and click p on your keyboard to bring up the position keyframes and then on the first frame keyframe this position so that it's going to come right before and then later in the clip here go ahead and drag it so that it's just past your roto subject right there like that and then you guys can play with these keyframes as much as you'd like here. And you're gonna have something that looks like that there. And that's pretty much where the wipe is gonna happen. So now you're gonna click on your roto layer here. And under this little track mat tab, if you don't see this, click toggle switches and modes down here, and it'll bring up your track mat. And then on the bottom layer, you just simply wanna set that to your shape layer. And then now whatever happens with the shape layer is gonna be applied to your regular roto layer right here. So that's how you create that little reveal effect. But now on the shape layer, we're gonna add on turbulent displace, which is built into After Effects. And then you're gonna to wanna to crank up the amount until it's somewhere around 200 and then bring the size way down till it's almost to zero. And then as you guys can see here, it's a bit low quality because I'm rendering out in quarter quality instead of full quality here and then if you guys change the complexity up to 10 all the way up there you guys are going to start to get something like that here and then once we add on the mosaic effect which is also built into after effects we're really going to start to get our look here so i just set the horizontal blocks to 80 and the vertical blocks to 40 and you guys want to make sure that the vertical blocks is half of what the horizontal blocks are so that you guys can get perfect looking squares so now we have something that looks like this, which is starting to look pretty good. Um, and then if you guys want to intensify the effect, what you can do is just keep on increasing the amount to maybe something like 300. And then it's just going to add a little bit of depth to the mosaic effect and make it just a little bit longer and more stretched out. So now you can go ahead and pre-compose these two layers together. So just highlight them and again, do control shift C and then click these two here and click OK. Now go ahead and just duplicate this pre-composed layer and then drag it over here for now. And we can just name this one roto number one. And then this one will be our fill layer. So we're going to add on the fill effect, which is built into After Effects and then change the color to white right here. And then now go ahead and just duplicate that layer again. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. So I'll name this fill one, and then I'll name the second one fill two. And then on the fill one layer, go ahead and open up your track mat tab. And then you're gonna set fill one track mat layer to fill two. So real simple like that. And then you're just going to click this button here, which is the invert alpha mat. And this is different in other versions of After Effects. If you guys click this drop down, you'll be able to see if it's the alpha invert mat, and then it'll give some other mat options. But in After Effects 2025, it's really annoying. They changed that feature for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but you guys have to click this little button right here. Just click that right there. And then now you're gonna have 
this layer. Now add on the mini max effect and then change the operation to minimum and change the channel to alpha and color and then just increase the radius a little bit each time until you sort of get rid of those outline lines. So now we have something that looks like this um, and then as well, you know, you guys can increase that a little bit more if you want. So maybe just something like five can look really good. Now the pre-comp that we left over here called Roto One, we can go ahead and just bring that over here with everything and drag it underneath. So now we're going to start to see exactly what that effect is going to be looking like. And then on fill one layer, go ahead and add on the CC glass effect and then go into the surface drop down and you can bring down the softness a little bit it and then bring down the height to a negative value just something negative change the property to alpha again and then just keep playing with those values so i'm just going to bring those all the way down like that and then if you guys want to add on the displacement map you can go ahead and do so and then just drag everything over to the right or over to the left um, and then this can really add a pretty strong digital type look add a little bit of detail that wouldn't otherwise be there and then you can go ahead and add on the colorama effect for add phase you're you're going to go ahead and set that to the fill one layer just so you guys can get more of the colors in there and then if you guys go down to modify make sure you uncheck that one and then as well you guys can uncheck the composite over layer one if you guys want to make it blend in just a little bit better and then of course if you guys adjust the phase shift you guys can get different colors or in the output cycle you guys can get a bunch of different colors and change all of these colors as well and then again to get rid of some of the outlines you can always add on the mini max effect again change it to minimum again and then increase that radius until you guys start getting just the parts that you want there so maybe again something like five or six cool so now i have something that looks like this which i think looks really really good so far and it's just very very smooth and it's eased in and i like how it's coming over the arm right there and then you guys can add this effect to the background as well um and then what i like to do is add on glow or like sapphire glow or deep glow because you actually want to drag this fill to layer over a few frames just like this so as you can see if you drag it over to the left or right it kind of controls the width of the effect which i think looks really cool so just bring it over like a few frames like maybe four or five frames and then you guys get way more crazy looking stuff in there and then once it kind of starts getting out of control and you kind of see some stuff on the legs you can just go ahead and trim the fill one layer and then if it cuts off you guys can always go back into your fill layer and then just adjust these position keyframes you can bring this over if you guys want to change how the mosaic effect looks and then if you guys exit back out to your main comp where you have your background layer behind all this and you guys see these ugly black lines that are around it if you guys want to get rid of those just go back into your comp and on the fill layer add on the luma key effect leave all the settings how they are and then just increase the threshold a little bit and then if you guys go back out you guys will see that'll completely fix it and now let's talk about how i got this cool looking background here so i've done a bunch of different tutorials on the card dance effect i think this effect is just so hard and i think you can get so many different interesting looks with this so i went ahead and did that for this as well so on that background layer add on the card dance effect and then change the gradient layer one to the background layer which is the one that it's on and then go down to z position and change the source to intensity one and then if you guys just increase the rows and columns that's now going to determine how many pixels are going to be pushed in or out so if you guys want to change this all the way up to like 1000 or something like that you guys can get tons and tons of these tiny little particles that you can manipulate but what i like to do for this one is just set it to something really low like 100 just so you guys can get some similar little boxes like the digital wipe effect and then if you guys set keyframes for the multiplier you guys can bring that all the way down to zero which looks normal and then you guys can you know obviously just increase that and set your keyframes here with the stopwatch you can you can adjust the offset right here but yeah man and then i just went ahead and added on the colorama effect again 
you know just play with that however and then to have that background fade in or out you guys can add on the luma key effect and then again if you guys just increase this it's going to help it disappear and reappear so again just set keyframes for threshold there if you guys want to save time while editing make sure to check out my website i have really really good packs and presets on there that are going to help you speed up your workflow and if you guys want 15 percent off of your cart today use the code stinky cheese in all caps i appreciate you guys as always for tuning in man peace out